it's important for young men and women from all backgrounds to see themselves reflected and represented in a traditional genre. We've all seen lots of period dramas in the past, but we have never seen people from diverse backgrounds represented in them. There was Asian aristocracy, there was African aristocracy in England. They just seem to be painted out from the history that we're given. So it's just wonderful that in this production we have a historical drama where we see people from those diverse backgrounds. I never saw casting that was against type. So in my head, I never imagined there could be a day where we would have these characters cast against Thai representing different races and ethnicities. For this film to come along, it just means that we're opening up fiction to a world that possibly did exist even in that time period. Well, I think that like what Ember's doing by the colorblind casting, I think it's, it's just so important because, you know, for years I've, I've, I've often sort of thought, like, well, why isn't this being done? Why are there rules here? Why does it have to be this way? It doesn't have to be this way. And, you know, you see it a lot in theatre, uh, and you have to suspend this belief, and I don't know why film or TV should be any different. I'd actually always wanted to direct a period drama. I think I've seen nearly every adaptation of Jane Austen or Oscar Wilde's work, but I'd never seen one like this. And when I read Suzanne's script, which is totally funny and charming, it felt like we had unearthed Jane Austen's long lost screenplay and I just knew I had to make it almost instantly. But I had to make it this way. England now telling a story of England then. From Kodak Film, um, this behind the scenes it has a major cultural significance. They're not wrong when they're saying that uh, a lot of uh, people's culture in England was shunned and uh, not seen or, or even heard of. If you're one to watch uh, Downton Abbey and Bridgerton, Bridgerton is more or less like this film, but this film is uh, quite important at this time and age and I hope you learned some really cool stuff on this uh, behind the scenes which is uh, made by Kodak Film uh, which is awesome to see it all in 8mm. So go ahead and comment down below, uh, like, subscribe and I'll see you here next time. Later!